Вот на мотоцикл вот такая вот защита. Сеточку сделали. Это от ФПВ будете, да, защищаться так? Russian soldiers returning from Ukraine have killed and maimed more than 200 people within Russia in two years. Putin has opened a Pandora's box on violence in Russia. The situation will get worse. More than 100 people were killed and the rest were seriously injured, Vyorstka news outlet has calculated, having studied media reports and data from court records. Here's what they found out. Their selection included 91 pardoned ex-prisoners and 84 other servicemen. Only crimes in which there is evidence of participation of the suspects or accused in the war in Ukraine were taken into account. In the last two years, returned soldiers committed at least 84 crimes with human casualties, including 55 murders. The most common crime with fatalities and victims was the intentional infliction of serious, life-threatening harm to health. Returning war veterans committed at least 87 such crimes, resulting in 18 deaths and another 70 seriously injured. The majority of crimes have a domestic motive or occur because of alcohol consumption. While drinking alcohol together, war veterans attack their acquaintances, neighbors, or random people. Often relatives of veterans are also under deadly threat. Of the 134 published judgments that Vyorska analyzed, in two-thirds of them, Judges took into account participation in the war as a mitigating circumstance. Also, in 42 cases, courts considered the offending behavior of the victims as a mitigating factor. The $1 billion military aid package from the U.S. is truly impressive, but the situation at the front will stay extremely hard for months. Quick take by Joni Ascola. The United States unveiled a $1 billion aid package today, encompassing a comprehensive range of essential supplies for Ukraine's front line, such as Bradley IFVs, armored vehicles, shells, AD missiles, anti-tank missiles, and more. It's amazing that the aid was swiftly prepared for dispatch upon being signed. Its imminent arrival at the front line will provide some much-needed relief to units that have been facing severe shortages for months. Nevertheless, it's important to temper expectations, as this won't be sufficient to stabilize the front line. Russia is currently fully committed because they are aware of Ukraine's shortages in manpower, equipment, shells, and the unreadiness of its defensive lines. It will take some time for the situation to improve, but if Ukraine can minimize territorial losses and casualties during mobilization, training, equipment acquisition, and defensive construction, its position should see improvement within a few months. Let's hope that Ukraine will promptly initiate its extensive mobilization and that the U.S. will swiftly dispatch additional similar aid packages. Ukraine's needs extend far beyond this package, requiring a significant amount of resources to stabilize the front line. Russian servicemen started installing rear screens against FPV drones on motorcycles. Вот на мотоцикл вот такая вот защита. Сеточку сделали. Это от FPV будете, да, защищаться так? А вы на что ее, на боевые задачи будете или на эвакуацию? На боевые задачи. На боевые задачи. Вот на такой ласточке. Надо в зеленый цвет покрасить. Attention, France and Poland. Russian propagandists threaten with attacks, but no one will know who did it. Но мы должны спокойно сказать, французы высаживаются, мы уничтожаем штаб-квартиру французов на территории Франции. Мы наносим удары по территории Польши и концентрируем. Мы топим... Суда, которые перевозят Брэдли, мы уничтожаем базы хранения. Если мы знаем, что это оружие предназначено для удара по России, то мы официально Но... заявляем, весь маршрут, да. неважно, где он проходит, является законной целью. Но тогда надо с ними говорить на том языке, который не понимают. Да, о да, чем я, я говорю. Вот об этом Поэтому и... должны быть взорваны к да. фени, трубопроводы, нефтепроводы, вот это все. За месть, должна быть жесточайшая месть, принцип очень простой. Как в дипломатии. Вот. А там же как? Там же симметричность ответа должна быть. Абсолютно. Они взорвали нашу инфраструктуру, не знают да. кто, и да. мы не знаем, кто сейчас взорвет, черт в матери, всю их. Footage of Ukrainian Air Force Su-27 flankers conducting standoff seed strikes with U.S. supplied AGM-88 harms. Seen here rippling off multiple harms at the same time towards Russian radars. Eastern Ukraine, a Ukrainian SSO soft drone watches a precision strike on a Russian 9A310M1. Buck Teller, 
with the Russian SAM system suffering an immediate catastrophic ammunition detonation. Russia is facing greater challenges in recruiting troops than they are willing to acknowledge. Several regions in Russia have already increased one-time payments to new servicemen who sign a contract with the Russian Ministry of Defense. In the Krasnodar region, the payment has risen from 300,000 rubles to 1 million since the beginning of 2024. It's not unexpected. Russia is untruthful about everything, including its capacity to recruit soldiers. Russia has been offering excessive compensation to its recruits because it is the only way to achieve the necessary numbers without resorting to mobilization. People who are motivated have already volunteered. Additionally, even the desperate Russians in most impoverished regions recognize the risks. Russia will always have the capability to recruit, but it requires substantial numbers to offset its losses. There are speculations about Russia planning a mobilization in June. It will be intriguing to observe if this materializes. However, if it does occur, it could be linked to Russia encountering greater difficulty in recruiting than they have been asserting. Stash of cash found during the search of former Russian Deputy Defense Minister Ivanov. Only freshly printed $100, and a truck is needed to move all of this around. But no rubble? I wonder why. The Los Angeles Police Department, with support from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, is currently conducting a mass arrest operation within the University of Southern California campus, where pro-Hamas and Palestinian demonstrators, most of whom are not students and are from out of area, have established an encampment with a promise to fight police. The USC campus has been closed as a result of the operation, with demonstrators being told to immediately disperse and leave the campus or they will be arrested. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.